Hey guys, Ian here with Ian's Random Reviews. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at the Astro AI Digital Tire Pressure Gauge. I've been in the market for a little while now for a digital tire pressure gauge. Wanted to give it a try. Um, you know, normally just always using the manual ones, but uh, this one had lots of reviews on Amazon, so I thought I would give it uh, give it a quick uh, give it a shot anyway. So here's the box. This is how it comes in the mail. Very straightforward. Um, we'll just open the uh, the box here. Now I've taken the shrimp wrap off the tire pressure gauge for simplicity's sake, but uh, this is exactly how it comes. As you can see, I got the black version, and uh, all you do is you hit the uh, the trigger button here once, and there's a light that illuminates right here, right around the um, uh, where the valve stem goes, and then here's your screen. Here's just a close up of the Astro AI tire pressure gauge. Uh, now. I took the shrimp crap off of this when it came out of the box, but I have not put any batteries in it uh, whatsoever. Um, I literally just hit the on button, which is this trigger button underneath uh, where the valve stem goes. Give that a quick click. You can see um, where your valve stem goes in. It's illuminated, so if it's dark, you can uh, you can easily find your valve stem, and then you have an illuminated um, screen right here. Now to change your pressure readings. So right now it's on bar. You just click this trigger button again. So it's going to go from bar to KPA to kilograms to PSI. Now, of course, if you're you're testing your, your tire pressure gauge for your vehicles or lawn tractors, etc., you're going to use PSI, um, and that's primarily what I'm going to be using. So the big test now is to take it outside and test it up against a manual um, tire pressure gauge and just see how well it works. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to try first the uh, just a normal manual um, tire pressure gauge. Uh, I'm going to try to get this with the phone here. Okay, so it just came out. So you get this thing to focus on. So we're just over 25 psi right now on this tire. Okay, so we've uh, just done a reading there and it's 24.1. So, um, right in the ballpark my manual one said 25 this is saying 24.1 so it's within a pound um, which for me is not bad at all again it could have been just how I was holding it I'm holding my phone plus doing this um, so I'm not getting the exact pressure I would like but at the same time um, the readings for both um, were, were within a pound so uh, so far pretty happy with this I'm gonna try one more tire and then I'll come back and tell you how it worked. All right, folks. So uh, let's just talk about some final uh, some final notes on the Astro AI. Uh, as I uh, as I said when it first arrived, um, I turned it right on. As you can see, screen lights up, and of course where the uh, where the valve stem goes lit, lit up as well. And then you just hold the center button to turn it off. Of course, um, you know I've seen a lot of comments saying this was a good tire pressure gauge. I've seen a lot of comments saying that the battery was dead upon arrival. Um, other people saying it wasn't accurate. Well, um, after doing uh, both my front tires on my car, uh, I only filmed one because I wanted to really get uh, the best representation I could. Um, so I used, you know, using two hands to get the uh, to get the um, the reading is better than one. This was quite accurate. So um, in both applications between the manual tire pressure gauge and then of course the Astro AI it was within one pound of difference so um, in the in the second test I did the um, the manual tire pressure gauge was reading just below 30 psi and this was reading 29.1 uh, same on the other side it was within one pound of difference so uh, when it comes to that I'm very happy with that uh, as I said I like the uh, the lights on this I like the uh, the digital applications and of course there's different uh, reading modes on there of course um, KPA, KG, PSI, whatever you need um, so you know I haven't really put this to the test yet because it just arrived today but um, you know after uh, after just testing a couple of tires it seems to work uh, quite nice uh, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like at night with the lights but uh, that's not uh, really the real reason I got it I just wanted to uh, to see how it held up against the uh, the manual 
um, tire pressure gauge and so far so good so I am going to recommend this product um, again always use your discretion when uh, making Amazon purchases or purchasing anything from anywhere but uh, so far so good I'm, I'm very happy with it it's working and uh, it's going to be a nice little uh, addition to my car when I put it in my dash so thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time